boys, girls, I'm Charles Elbow. Welcome back to Elbow to Robber. I'm Joe. And no, I'm a day late, dollar short. But I have Gotham Season 3, Episode 10, I believe. Episode 10 already. Wow. Okay. Mad City. <coughs> Excuse me, that's not the name. Time Bomb. Alright, and this episode very much was a time bomb that is set to go off next week. Because I think that's the mid-season finale. Great episode, I thought. Um, this episode, really, the main point was the breakdown of Butch by Riddler. And Butch, I mean, <laughs> he's a character that just when you start to feel bad for him, they remind you that he's not really a great guy. But at the same time, he is. <laughs> at the same time, he's, you can tell he's kind of, he's got a, a heart a little bit, right? So, again, they did it <laughs> where you feel bad for him. But then at the end, you know, revenge is on his mind. He's not a good guy by any means, but uh, <laughs> they make the viewers care for him. Which is why, and I've said this before, and I'll say this again, my guess is that the Joker is eventually Butch. I know it doesn't make sense. You've got one arm, and he's a little bit heavier than the Joker tends to be. But I'm calling it now. Well, I've called it a while ago. I think Butch is the Joker. Which is always getting destroyed. He's everyone's kind of uh, punching a bag. I think it's going to come when he snaps. I think Jerome might come back, and because of Hugo Strange's um, you know ways, even though that was in the past, I think Jerome might be back. I think Jerome's going to be maybe the one that kind of pushes him off the edge, and I think he's going to come as the Joker. And I, I know a lot of people are going to say it doesn't make sense because of the age or whatever, but I mean, Gotham. Did, Come on, if we're talking about consistency with anything here, I mean, it's doing its own thing. And is that good or bad? I don't know. I love it. I love Gotham. So, you know, I think Butch is going to be Joker. That's just my wild prediction. But great episode. Um, Nigma, <coughs> excuse me, Nigma is hurting. You know, uh, he, he thought uh, the Butch took Isabella. You know, why is that so hard? Uh, he thought that Butch killed Isabella. Penguin that did so, and it's just that that breakdown was fun, and then the eventual realization that it was not Butch was great, and it was great because it's Riddler. Riddler always thinks he's got it figured out, right? He always thinks he steps ahead, and when he doesn't have it figured out in this episode, he's speechless. Uh, <laughs> it was just funny with him at the end. Oh, you, you just might want. That nice just because he realized he did all of that and that he was wrong um <laughs> i i love riddler as a character i think uh it was a great portrayal of the riddler i, I think it's great um but you know he's gonna he's gotta find out that it's penguin he probably isn't figuring it out now because he probably doesn't realize that riddler uh, that penguin is in love with him but i think he's gonna find out Probably next week. I I don't know if they'll leave it off as a cliffhanger, or if he finds out kind of at the beginning of next week. But that's gonna be fun. Riddler vs. Penguin. That's gonna be a storyline that I can get into, uh, and hopefully it's not just an election thing that <laughs> uh, Riddler is running against him or something like that. Right? That that would be what it is. Um, but then we also had, <laughs> excuse me, Gordon, uh, Jim, and his storyline. It's good to see. Uh, Harvey as the acting captain. I thought last season when he was the captain, I thought that was a great role for him, and it f fits so oddly well. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, good story with with Jim and Mario. Mario got lost his brother. It seems like I don't remember if they showed that on the trailer or anything like that. But uh, that's what it seems like he got. So that's gonna be interesting to see where that storyline goes. Um, the Bruce storyline, I feel like that's never really the strongest. I mean, at least it's not there that clone's not around right now. I thought that was not as interesting as it could have been. Um, but same thing with the storyline. The Court of Owls thing, I get it. And we see that at the end with, with Carmine, where he's supposed to, you know, be involved or was once involved with the Court of Owls. I think the Core of Owls is, is a 
good, interesting storyline. I just don't know if we're actually at the interesting point yet. Uh, in the show, I don't think it's been handled the best it could be. Um, it's not too engaging. I, I think we need to see kind of more figures in the Court of Owls to actually have a presence. Um, we see that main kind of assassin. Um, he doesn't really have, you know, rarely speaks. We've heard him speak, but, and then there's kind of that, that main lady who, uh, I, I think we need to see some other figureheads and, and see what, you know, further that will be. Because right now I think in this show with such strong characters and, and strong, um, acting, I think the core of Alice is sort of lacking right now. Uh, I think that's one of the weaker storylines along with Bruce's storyline, which is very, it's kind of like the same thing. Um, but we'll see where that goes. Uh, this week, the, the main priority was Riddler, Butch, and Penguin. And that was just that was a, a great episode, a, a good breakdown of not only Butch, but kind of Riddler. Just a breakdown of Riddler because we haven't, we saw him do it a little bit with, with Butch and the Red Hood gang. But this was really classic, what we've come to expect from. Edward Digma in the show. Season two, he was completely off the, the rails and he's been kind of contained and calm throughout the season and we saw him just a complete breakdown in this this episode and really just get back to what he does, right? So um good episode. Next week is the mid season finale, I think. <laughs> um I, I'm pretty much sure that they advertised it as mid-season finale so we'll see how that goes uh but definitely a good episode uh, definitely a solid episode let me know what you guys thought about this week's episode of gotham and subscribe if you want not much effort to do so until next time be happy and charming